Are you ready? I'm like so, I look so crooked. No, you don't. You're like. It's like, it's directly delicious. facing you. Stop. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I wasn't. I I'm feel about like to call you out too on the video. <laughs> I feel like you're being delusional. Go ahead. Is this, is it me? Oh, okay. Since we're recording, she already started out with some drama and some mess. No. She literally had the camera facing her perfectly. No, I did not. And I was so distorted. No, I did not. It's not. That's College not advice. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I guess I'm the enemy. <laughs> well, okay, let's start. Okay. That's the enemy. I wanna dance, I'm on that yak, I wanna dance. <laughs> that's, when you, that's when you cut it. <laughs> oh my god. I did that on purpose. I set, I set that up. Alright, you ready? Whew. What's up, y'all? My name is Taina, but everyone calls me TT. And I'm Damien, TT's friend, and we are two college students at Benedict College giving you advice for this 2023 upcoming school year. Woo! Okay, so I am now a senior. And I'm also a senior. And we just wanted to give y'all advice from our, from, well, not from our perspective, but being in college for some years now, I think we got some insights for y'all. And if you are a freshman, I hope these are good advice for y'all. And if you're not a freshman, if you felt like we missed anything, you can go ahead and comment that down below. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we have a few topics that we want to talk about. We have the pregame, which is before you get to college. Then we're going to go into academics, financial, personal, and social life. So I think we should start off with Pre-game! <laughs> yeah. So I think we should first mention that me and TT are both out-of-state students. We both come from um, Elizabeth, New Jersey, and we go to school in South Carolina right now. We go to an HBCU, Benedict College in Columbia, South Carolina. So I think this video is for everyone, but it'll definitely hit most with those students who are going to school out-of-state as well as HBCU students. Yes, my HBCU girlies and gals. One thing I do want to mention, go to an HBCU. <laughs> <laughs> go, like yeah. run. And with that, I think the first thing that I want to talk about is location. It's very important for you to know where you're going to school. If you haven't visited your school yet, which I know a lot of people don't get the, the chance to do, you should definitely like just look your school up on a map, see what's around it, what's in the area as far as like Walmarts, Targets, grocery stores, places to shop, places to go out. Because when you get there, you really don't want to just be sitting there your first couple days because you don't know what's around. Or where granted, anything that. Yeah, granted you are probably going to explore a little bit, but you still want to, you know, have an idea at least. Before I became a freshman, because you know, well, I graduated year 2020. So we, I didn't get to, you know, um, go visit the HBCU. So you, I was definitely on the internet. I'm like, let me see if, first of all, I did check if it was an urban area. <laughs> Make, sure <I> did. <laughs> Make sure I have my people around me. But you know, it's an HBCU, that's gonna be in an urban area. And I definitely checked if there was things around me, definitely learned about Columbia, but I definitely did learn some more actually being here because they don't give you enough information on the internet. But looking up information, like doing your research is a good start. Mm -hmm. And then that goes into our next topic, which is roommates. So when you get that roommate notification, if you do that little um, survey, if you if your school even offers that, yeah. Once you see who your roommate is, nine times out of ten, you're probably gonna go like searching to see who it is, try to figure out what they look like, what they're into. All, all that, that bro. What I was, I definitely searched my roommate up, but I didn't get my first roommate till my sophomore year. But I definitely did search her up, and I definitely did DM her, even though it took some time because I didn't want to look like a stalker. Yeah. But um, they will definitely let you know who your roommate are before you move in. So it's nothing wrong with just searching them up 
and you know checking out their page if they're they private. They may even give you like their phone number. Or email, yeah. Sometimes. Most like time. most likely you will get phone numbers and emails because of the fact that you know you you guys are gonna be rooming together. You guys wanna know who you check y'all who are who y'all are and how y'all look like. I don't know. And a good reason to get to know your roommate or try to get to know your roommate is because you don't wanna have that awkward like little situation when you get there and y'all both show up with three irons, two uh microwaves, mm -hmm. three freaking mini fridges so y'all can like communicate that stuff so y'all don't have everyone bring in everything y'all bring y'all separate stuff y'all both use them and then at the end of the semester y'all both take what y'all brought if you go to an hbcu this tip is definitely for you or probably like any college student in general make sure that all of your financial information and paperwork is cleared before you get there because the last thing you want to do is be sitting in an office building or a long line for what? Three, three, four, five, six hours because you didn't have this one thing cleared, this one health form cleared, or this one uh, paper signed. So now you're going around with your head cut off because you're trying to just get checked into your dorm. If, and if you've seen those TikTok videos, they are not playing they're dead serious. The administrative office and financial office, they will leave your, they will leave you on hold. Like, it will never pick up. Like, you gon' bro, I will call Benedict and first thing, they already on lunch break. <laughs> How you just got there and you already on lunch break? They will not pick up that phone call. So when you do decide to go see them in person, you will definitely be on the way and they'll be like, oh, we'll take your name down, we'll call you. But it's just a definitely not a wait that's worth it. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely want to get the financials done before you get And it. you just want to make sure that you know like where your money is going, what money you're supposed to be getting back when it comes to refund time, where your scholarships are, making sure all your scholarships are applied so that you're not being, you know, asked to pay money that you don't actually owe, things of that nature. Now that you got all your paperwork, you know, packed and ready, you know, your roommate, you actually have to start getting ready for school. And one thing that everyone has a debate about is packing, about whether or not we should bring everything or we should bring a little bit. And I think yeah. she low key, you're probably gonna agree, right? Yeah, I am, definitely. But I did make a whole college pack list video. So yeah, go watch mm. that. <laughs> All right, y'all, now for the most fun part. Academics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, that shirt tight. <laughs> now we are on academics. That had no life in it. I was so bored. Well, my bad, dang. Nah. <laughs> I just clicked off. <laughs> Don't disrespect me. Anyways, <sighs> now for the academics. you got to sigh before you do it? Because are you trying to do your own video? No, I'm not trying to do my own Bitch, she's trying to entertain y'all. No, I'm not trying to entertain Unsubscribe. Hit that unsubscribe button right there. <laughs> I'm about to unsubscribe. Oh my gosh, y'all. These, these clips are going to be so funny. <laughs> All right. Okay. Come on, do some energy. Now for academics. Part. Okay, so the most important part now we're going to talk about is your academics because you do have to remember that you are in school for your degree. So, yeah, you don't want to be, I don't want to say you want to be a college dropout, but. I'm yeah. for sure you want to finish what you start. You're going to get like a lot of information in this video. But at the end of the day, with the, whatever we say, the most important thing that you need to take with you at the end of this video is that you came here to get a degree. So at the end of the day, you need to make sure that you're getting that degree. With Natalie Mensa, to the bag, to the degree. To the bag, to the degree. So you got all set up in school, you got your roommate, you moved in, you got your schedule. I think the, one of the most important things that a lot of people kind of overlook or don't do or skip out on is setting up a routine. Like set up those alarms for your classes, set up a little time where you're gonna do homework, set up time where you know, you're gonna eat, Set up that time where you're gonna, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym at this time so that I can go shower and be dressed and ready for class at that time. Cause that's really gonna help you get into a rhythm and really get you ahead of those people who have those learning curves yeah. in school, in college, that first year. Yeah, definitely setting up a routine is important. Like you can use like little things like making a planning book, having a to-do list, or having an alarm, an alarm for a lot of stuff. So. Oh, part of setting up a routine walk like the root of your classes for each day so you know like where the buildings are and where oh, the yeah. classrooms are i'm pretty sure you've done that in high school people told you to do that in high school it's the same thing in college because so i'm pretty sure your campus is going to be big yeah. 
it's okay to ask people where to go obviously but it just makes it easier to already know where you're going mm -hmm. so that night before two nights before most schools even offer like tours of like the buildings and stuff if you haven't already so that you know where things are on your campus yes so when it comes to like the alarms for your classes your class schedule are, is not gonna be like okay this is my next class right there after it's not always gonna be like that so Mm -hmm. You can get very lazy when you go to your dorm and you know you go back to your classes. Make like, use of the time in between your classes. That's a big one. A lot of people aren't gonna say that or skip like skip over that. Yeah. That little hour or two hours that you have from that 11 a.m. to that 2 p.m. Get something to eat and do homework for that class you just had. Get get started on that project get started on the homework for another class like do something and when you come up with that good routine and that good rotation it's it, it's a good start to success and then going off of that we also want to talk about talking to professors and that kind of networks off into a bigger umbrella but really talking to one or two professor although it may sound like embarrassing or corny or cheesy is really going to help you because professors on campus especially if they're like a dean of a school or something like that they have a lot of pools so they can get you those passes extensions those internships those cheat codes passes. cheat code they can get you like cheat codes <laughs> not literally cheat codes like <laughs> like cheat codes like so sometimes they'll let you know like the important points of what they're teaching mm -hmm. so you can be able to pass the class because the way professors teach in college is different how they teach in high school and i know this because i used to be paying attention like paying attention word for word all that they do not do that in college they will talk your ear off have all these powerpoint half it ain't even on the test yeah but when you talk to your professor more and they help you out more most likely they're giving okay. you the cheat you codes need to, you need to review this you yeah need to review that. they will definitely give you that cheat code yeah make sure you look at this chapter make sure you look at that chapter and also talk to your advisors as well make sure you know who your advisors are get to know you have who your advisors are because when it comes to outside schooling like when it comes to like setting up like next year um class schedule or next semester class schedule or like what's next for you and what you should do next your advisors will literally do that for you like give you those advice your advisors are kind of like your mini mentors but that comes into like something i feel like i have to talk about advisors are not like your saving grace like they have hundreds of other students thousands of other students so they may not be able to make your class schedule they may not be able to you know make sure that everything is right so at the end of the day you need to make sure that your transcript and classes that you're taking and whatever is on track with what you need to be doing to graduate because a lot of times these schools will make mistakes or they would just overlook a lot of things knowing that it's going to cost you down the line so you really have to watch for yourself at the end of the day because these are businesses who just want your money so make sure that when these schedules are being made that when you're having these talks with your advisors that you have emails a paper trail make sure you have all that save everything well my advisors my same grace yeah i thought <laughs> we was gonna save this towards the end though are we because that was gonna be like the longer one so what are we doing next financial yeah Oh Next, God. we are going to talk about financial. In the first financial, we going to talk Wait, about... Wait, that, that was so unprofessional. How, how was that unprofessional? That was not cute in the video. I was all leaned over. Let me get up in a frame first. Okay, hurry up. Why are you trying to make me get look you? so I'm damn not, bad? I'm not trying to make you look bad. No, I'm trying to get to my favorite one. She will never one. have me as a co-star again. She did not... <laughs> <laughs> Financials. Wait, let me get a pool. <laughs> Don't vape, kids. It causes some very bad things to your body. Sometimes you can't stop a crackhead from doing crack. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are about to move on to financials now, which is probably a very important aspect of college. Probably one of the most important because if you can't afford to go to college and pay for it, then you really won't be able to do it, obviously, anyways. But yeah, so the first thing we want to talk about is budgeting. 
if you don't come to school with a lot of money like I did or she did even, budgeting is going to be very important because there's going to be a lot of things and a lot of times where you're offered to spend money on things and you really have to think about whether or not it's worth it, whether or not this is something that you want to spend your money on. And nine times out of ten, you probably are going to spend your money on it because you just are. Bro, but I'm also going to say budgeting especially when you start making friends and y'all just want to keep and y'all outside majority of the time i don't know like i feel like i spend way more money in college than i did in high school that's way why i definitely think it's possible but for the vast majority budgeting at least your first year or two of college is not really possible unless you're getting like some big amount of like money from like a refund a refund from like a scholarship or something like that so unless you could bring in some big amount of money if you have like a business already going for you you're more than likely going to be spending a lot more money than you're going to be bringing in especially your first year because you have a lot of events you want to go to you're buying new outfits you're going out to eat you're making new friends a lot and of when things you make just... friends girl your friends always gonna want to do something i'll be wanting to go i'm that friend that want to go out i think the best thing to say i feel like the best ways to save money of course for me at least you don't have to eat out a lot take advantage of like whatever meal plan you have at school and just use it i know like most of the time it isn't good of course but just try to use it. So another point of budgeting we want to talk about is going out and partying. So parties are going to be real expensive, especially if you're coming from high school, depending on where you're coming from, where parties are probably $10, maybe $15 max. Now they're going to $20, $25, Bro, $40. Let's talk about these HBCU parties because they definitely be dragging it. They be like, free till 10 o'clock <laughs> people standing in line at nine they ain't opening the doors to 9 40 and now it's 10 o'clock now everybody got pay. all right bugging like especially when it's jumping everybody want to come in but they be dragging it if this is your first time at college every party is generally going to be the same you don't need to go to every party at all save your money when you can i would recommend going to parties during those big events around the school year like homecoming those rivalry games, um, anytime alumni come back, uh, and then like, Spring Fest, things yeah, like that. Yeah, I was about to say, because we have Tiger Fest. Yeah, I don't know festivals about. that your school has. Mm -hmm. Those is when, like, when you want to be like, okay, I can drop a little extra bread on this party, on that party to go here. Do they be having, like, how we have Juice War? Do you think they be having that? They probably have their own versions of it. <sighs> cookouts, here on the paper, cookouts. But we gonna get into the party life soon too. Yeah, yeah I, I got a little experience on that too. So another way you could probably make money and budget in college is finding a side hustle. And a lot of people don't know that college students will spend money. Like I just said, like two minutes ago, they're going to spend money on any and everything. And so, then they will also be ready to support other college students doing exactly. things. Like I think college is also a great way to get like support for upcoming businesses. Especially at HBCUs. I don't think at any other like type of institution where you see like any, the vast variety of entrepreneurs that are just there. Like me personally, I'm a photographer. So I do a lot of photography, graphic design, videography on the side. You have people who do styling, you have braiders, people who do nails, uh, guys, you can do haircuts. <laughs> um, we have a lot of don't graphic play. designers, you have trainers. You could definitely pick up a lot of like side hustles, baking cakes, baking cookies, making candles, and start it off on your campus. So if you have an idea in the back of your head, oh, I want to get this business started, college is like the best way to do it because you're probably going to have a friend group or just like a close-knit group of people who are going to help and support you get that idea off the ground. And it's the perfect place to like perfect your craft. And that's really how you also learn about yourself yeah. too because I was not doing photography or anything of that nature in high school at all. So when you get to college, you're really going to be like, oh, I'm going to do a lot of crazy to get money and some things you're actually gonna pick up and be like oh wait i kind of actually like this mm -hmm. maybe this is something i could turn into something bigger yeah and the college girls they don't play when it comes to getting their hair done their nails done yeah like, especially when those time come like them important events he said like homecoming yeah. festivals like ooh, they're gonna child. Be somebody on campus to do their hair to do their nails especially like if it's affordable college, if it's a big school if it's at college and especially if they're freshmen they're not gonna know what's around them Take advantage of people who don't know what's around them 
to get yourself out there. You just say take advantage of them. Take yes. We don't want to take advantage of the freshmen. I'm not saying I'm saying anybody. <laughs> you can be a freshman, junior, senior, sell your to the damn president of your of your school. Be like, hey, President Charles, can I get you on video a boomerang? trying out my cookies when i tell you the number of people that like like know how to do braids in college nails um the boy, the men that know how to do cuts like and it's also great as a as a student when you're learning as well because you know sometimes i don't know about other, well most colleges they also do have those days where you are able to like um promote your brand and promote what you're doing. So yeah, it's perfect time for Next, for the topic that I've been waiting to talk about, obviously, is the social life. Social life plays a very, 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 very big role on living on campus. I think the first thing we could probably start off with is living on campus. Get involved with like whatever your dorm does, the little activities that go on around your school, any like little fairs that they bring, guest speakers that they may bring, um, events. Oh my gosh, they give out free stuff like crazy. T-shirts, headphones, MacBooks, like go to those events, just watch, come no near the end if you want to. They're probably giving out something for free. And you also just want to get more information about what's going on at your school so you actually go to your school don't don't be one of those people that go to your school and you have no idea what goes on at your school like that's so shady if the shoe fits was, the shoe fits <laughs> that was definitely me like but i think the next thing we talk about is probably like in the beginning one of the most obvious parties parties woo, woo, woo. I don't care what are you a party anyone, person? We are both party people. I don't I wouldn't consider myself a party person. We both definitely go to the party. I wouldn't he was def party he was person. definitely hitting me up last year like I want to go to this party. Let's go to this party. Let's go to this party. Let's go to this party. Don't now he's not a party person. Don't recall. Sorry. So parties, yes, parties definitely play in college. Like if you've seen those college movies, they always talk about how those parties be looking. Da, da, da. And they, they actually, no, they, they, actually, they can't be like that. They can't be. But they're not hundred oh, percent accurate. The whole like people jumping off the roof. And yes, stuff like that. into that pools and stuff. You if you're going to like a PWI with the PWI frat, uh, oh yeah frat then maybe but hbcu parties i mean some crazy stuff might happen if you, but hbcu parties when i say it get real it get real but my thing is i've never had like oh wait i have i have had a bad experience with like a party getting shot a bunch of twice okay but i've never i've never been in like danger at a party like yeah. people will say I've never been in danger, but there have been times where people like feel as though something happened at the party, so they're, they think there's a weapon or whatever. So people are, they're quick to so, react. So our first Very rule quick. of advice is to make sure that you stay with the people that you came with whenever you go out That's to any party. function or any party. Make sure that you go with them, you leave with them, you're not leaving them. Don't leave them for no boy, no girl, no little hookup nothing unless they know okay they're yada 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 but don't just leave and not tell anyone that's weird that's fake <laughs> not because like, that's weird that's fake and it's kind of like you're just like dang you're just leaving everybody and it's also the reason why it's also important to leave uh parties with the people you come we came with because of the fact that like you know we want to know that we're safe like we may i you came with me. You came here with me. Now yeah. you live with me. That like, I know you're safe. Day, like, we, we know can drink, we're safe. We can safe. party. We can do any of that. But we're trying to get home. We're trying to make it home. At least me. I'm gonna say have a good time at those party though, because they gonna charge you a good chump change. Yeah. They are. And then living in Columbia is also kind of like a college town. So you know, at, there's this place called Five Point. You know. If you go to college where it's kind of like college town where you have different colleges around you, most likely there will be there will be different parties, different events. Sometimes they even host these different parties, different events at these clubs that are off campus. But I would definitely say have a good time. Like go out, enjoy definitely yourself. Definitely go out. I just don't want to say don't. I just say don't do too much. You don't need to go to every single don't party. Do you don't too need to much. go to a party every weekend because I guarantee you, like. You think you can usually like catch up with that and you won't. And another part of, about going to parties is knowing. Don't be the one standing be, on the wall. No, 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 no not even No, that. don't be the one standing on the wall. Like, that too, yeah. You, I know you didn't pay all this money just stand up on the wall. Like, I don't care. I don't care if you got to break down, do stump the yard or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, you pay this money just to see us girls have a good time. Mm. Mm. Go ahead. My point was going to be knowing when to leave parties. 
Me personally, you don't leave when the lights come on. Leave before the lights come on. I mean, if you leave when the lights come on, that party was jumping for real. It was. I'm sorry, because I've had those moments. I've or, had those moments. Or it got shut down early. Oh, you already got shut down early. Or it got yeah. shut down early. But um, I've had those moments when I stayed until the lights came on. Because it really didn't depend on the DJ. Because sometimes the DJs be playing the right tune. But sometimes it'll be dead and people just don't know. No worries. <laughs> They're just not trying your, to go back to the your dorm. Group, like, <laughs> no, hey, if it's, it's like that, here we count for four of them. If it's like that, I'm dead leaving the party. I'm gonna be like, y'all ready to go? Because <laughs> I'm not. But I pay this money to stare no and look at your face. No one to leave so that you're not sitting there bored. Your friends aren't bored, and because sometimes the vibe just aren't there. If you got a little instinct, oh, I don't. The people that's here, I don't, we ain't messing with them. Then y'all need to know, okay. We finna leave before everybody else starts leaving. Definitely listen to your instincts and you know, still pay attention to your surroundings. But parties, I want I don't wanna say don't go to parties, like parties a big no no. Yeah. But don't overdo it. And, and when you do ha when you do go out, and when I say when I mean by don't do too much like like leaving your friends behind, not knowing they're okay. And also like it's the social aspect of parties that people yeah. kinda miss out on because we we could, but I feel like it's kinda common sense to say don't drink and drive. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure you're watching your drinks uh don't leave uh your drunk friends behind but it's like certain little things that people kind of miss out on that will really cause a lot of like small issues yeah and you can go to a party sober i've been to plenty of party sober and acted a fool don't don't, <laughs> don't fall on the of course there's peer pressure and that's another thing too i guess we could talk about going into parties Peer pressure? The drinking, the oh, drugs. Oh yeah. I mean, the drinking. A, a lot of people go into into college not drinking or smoking, and then once once they graduate, that changes. It's life. Um, I would just say do everything on your own terms. We, nobody can stop you from doing things. Just make sure you're doing it in a safe way and around people that make you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I like I like how you put it into, yeah. into there, but but don't be doing no weird drugs. We don't support hard drugs now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, college parties. I would I would say don't go. You know. Give it a shot. Go out. Try it. Mm. I mean, but you're going to get bored of it real quick because you're going to realize it's the same DJ, the same song on replay. Same, song. same people. Yeah. Unless you're traveling everywhere. Yeah. Then, oh, you probably got bigger issues going on. And if you're a real life party person, I mean, are you still like go hard? Like you ready to go to every function, every event, every party? Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk about friend groups now too. Yeah, friend groups. What I want to say about friend groups. Because I don't want to be throwing no shade or nothing. <laughs> say nah. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, What I want to say about friend group is um, definitely I want to say befriend people who are like kind of doing similar things that you are or like who's reaching for the same goals. Like you can still have, you can still find friends that like to party like you do and still also, and they still also like to do their sign and be like okay yeah let's get this done or I gotta get this done and stuff like that and friends who will encourage you and um talk to you I feel like um college friends like you guys get a close connection because you know because you're on campus all the time and everything so and I also want to say like you will find your click like it might take some time but you will and if things don't work out then that's just like you're gonna meet messed up people you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you are. You're going to meet them in college as well. But what's that quote they say? Um, believe what they show you the first time. <laughs> believe them. Believe them. <laughs> I would have said the last time. I think, I think with friend groups Believe it's kind of a em. tricky situation because you never really know like people's true intentions off the gate. So you kind of just have to go like off of vibes i guess and how that friendship takes you in general but i think like a big point when you make friends in college is that when you're in college you should be thinking about every decision that you make should be helping you get forward mm -hmm. and that's including the people around you so i really i really like the point where you talked about aligning yourself with people who have similar goals if you're someone who's in stem make sure you know you're talking to those people who stay in the lab doing research so that you guys can compare notes, can compare labs, can study for exams, yada, yada, yada. If you're someone in communications, photography, uh, media arts, you need to be, you know, aligning yourself with people who are trying to be fashion designers, who are doing something on campus, promoting themselves, yada, yada, yada. Because at the end of the day, you're going to kind of realize that people don't always serve the purpose that you wish they would. Mm -hmm. Or certain friends can be in the same places mm -hmm. that you wish they would. You have to have certain friends for certain things. And ultimately, you need to find a good balance of that. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going to realize, okay, Dave 
is good for partying, but Dave is not going to help me get this project done. Mm -hmm. And no one's saying don't be friends with no Dave. No one's saying don't be friends but with Dave. But Dave is only you gotta, good you gotta, to You got to know what to expect yeah, from, from Dave. Yeah, from Dave. And you know, you just know who to hit up when it's time for a good time. And when Dave says, damn, do you want to go to this party? You say, no, Dave. I made plans with Emily and we finna go study chapter five because we got an exam on Friday. And if you meet But I'll see you on Saturday. Saturday, though. <laughs> I'll see you on Saturday. I'll see you on Saturday. Okay, Saturday. But, um, ain't nothing wrong with that. If, if, if you tell a friend you can't go out somewhere because you're too busy doing something and they overreact, then that just lets you know something. You And you can take that as like, you know, I'm just fall back from this person. You know what I'm saying? It don't got to be a big drama or nothing. And that's, and that's another thing. But, I feel like when you go into college, have a different mindset with how you approach your friends. You have to go in with a more mature mindset. One, fighting in college played out. But we definitely gonna get Don't into the attitude that. thing too. Yeah, like, you have to have a different set of maturity when it comes to talking to people because you don't know how you're gonna have to work with them in the future. You don't know how they're gonna, you know, affect you, what they might post about you, any of those type of things. So you really just wanna make sure that you're not burning too many bridges or that you don't have a big group of people saying negative things about you. Yes, I would definitely say um, just come, like just come in, like you know, you know, like I'm saying, when you meet people, you never know what you're gonna get out of them at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So I would just say come, like sweet, nice, whatever, you know. But you know, have your boundaries, set your boundaries. Because when you first come to college, you're really gonna have like a lot of friends. It's the same thing for mm -hmm. high school, the same thing for college. You're gonna start with a big, big friend group and you're gonna end with a small one. Mm -hmm. But I think the sooner you realize that you only need a small friend group, is the better off you'll be. It's cool to know a lot of people, yeah. but once you realize, okay, I really only need to confide in, share personal achievements, do certain things with three, four people, yeah. you're gonna have a lot more peace than other people. And you will really notice the difference between like acquaintance and real friends. If you do start off with being friend with somebody and at the end you don't, it's okay. Sometimes you outgrow people. Sometimes things don't last, mm -hmm. you know? It's either you're gonna grow with me I'm gonna grow without you, you know what I'm saying? By the end of the day, you will always, you will always end up with the right people. And the people that are like gonna do you wrong or not real good friends, you, you, you will realize it. And then what you gotta do is just cut them off. You can cut them off in the most politely way you can. So you will find your friend group. And if you don't end up with the same, and at the end, if you don't end up with the same friends that you started with, that's fine. And if you do, hallelujah. Because when you do build uh, like strong bonds with people in college, it really like it really helps you know so stay open-minded but you know come in with the best intention be smart now we gonna talk about relationships 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 you know that keep it real that sweet. black love that hbcu keep it real love simple. real <laughs> sweet real simple if you're a freshman or a sophomore, unless you're already in one, unless it just happens, I don't it, don't even let it happen. You should not be thinking about a relationship. You should not be anticipating a relationship. We're, we talking about romantic relationships. R romantic dating. Relationship. We're gonna talk about dating. Dating, serious, entanglement, situationship. Don't we focus talk about on none of that. Is we here Please. for a good time or a long time? Like, of course, like a little sneaky leak session is going to happen here and there. You might find someone cute. But focus on yourself. Those first two years of college are, like, critical. It's really going to set up your GPA. It's going to set up your transcript. It's going to set up everything. If you are not focused in that relationship, if you're doing everything else but what you have to do because you're spending too much time with X, Y, and Z, that's going to be an issue that I'm pretty sure a million people have warned you about, but you're still going to do and you're not going to see the ramifications for it until later down the road okay well I, this is what i'm gonna say about relationship some you know actually do come in they meet a nice and they guy do. you know not, that's not some very little last to the end but that's nothing wrong with that i want to say if you do end up dating somebody i want to say always still stay focused on what you want to yes. do yes if the relationship's meant to be it will be and if it's not it just ain't cry your little heart <laughs> out Go through it, yada yada it just yada, ain't, and then wake up and say, "Damn, I got a degree to get." Cause sometimes, um, I got money to get. Like people dwell in relationship a lot. You can sometimes you just gotta take dating yes. as like 
a learning experience because you you can yeah because you can learn like what you like and what you don't like of course you you want it to go well but Mm -hmm. sometimes it just doesn't you just just have to realize that's just life and it's okay it sucks it's gonna hurt but it's gonna be okay (laughs) and i ain't even gonna lie to you most of these people that are in college especially the guys they're here for a good time not a long time <laughs> I'm sorry, college Protect men are yourself. not mature. Protect yourself. That's college all, that's men, all we're gonna say on that. they're not. Oh, they're not the most mature guys. You know, I'm not gonna say all college women are the most mature. Either. But you're in college. This is a learning experience. A place to a time for you to grow. A time to time for you to e- to either rebrand yourself as well, like learn about yourself some mm. more. So sometimes relation. You want to rebrand. Yeah. So you can always like you might not always like what you like before, like you know what I'm saying. So I wouldn't dwell too much on relationships. You know, if it work out, if it work out, if it don't, it don't. Life happens. But because I've seen too many people say their college ru- experience was ruined or they their grades done dropped, <laughs> the, ran through the mud because they was so invested in a relationship you can you cannot always invest so much time into things like that <clears throat> now we're gonna jump right into personal i want to start off personal baby leave the attitude at home but you are in college now anything that you do can affect you in the future and the way you react to things can re- can also affect um what you got going on so when i say leave the attitude at home literally leave the attitude at home that's all i gotta say damien attitude i think you just kind of have to come in to college with a open mindset about everything about the fact that you're not necessarily going to like everything that you're going to be studying all the people that you're going to be with you probably won't like certain things about your school your roommate you may not like your school in general but um i think just being open to what's next is probably like a big thing for me be open to joining new things to meeting new people to trying new foods to going new places you have to like really come with an open mind and a positive attitude and because you're also going to work with other people and meet other people with crazy attitude wild attitudes like you're gonna meet people that think differently from you or do things different from you and you're gonna learn how to work how to work with people like that just like in the real life when you get a real job you're not gonna like everybody that you work with you're gonna have to learn how to work with that so coming with an attitude like a, a childish attitude or like an attitude that nobody can work with you ain't gonna get nowhere baby you're gonna still be how you was in high school and it's Damn. because we ain't but we ain't in high school okay this this, this remember this is a new you so new you new attitude okay it's this the time to do it baby it's the time to be the better person i would say um going into this portion of personal advice you really have to expect the unexpected with college and when i say expect the unexpected i mean like some people are going to fail their first class for the first time ever some people are going to lose a family member for the first time ever or go through a sickness or you're going to lose your job or your scholarship or something like that so i think a big part of college is understanding that you're going to go through some sort of struggle that there will be a lot of struggles and that you're gonna have to find a way to overcome those for me i know like when i went through my struggles at first i was kind of like depressed i was in my room a lot wasn't talking to people and you kind of like feel it even more because you're going through whatever you're going through but the world around you is not so it teaches you to be an adult so while you're expecting the unexpected you're kind of getting your first taste at adulthood with how even though life is hitting you you still have to get up and go to that class to get that assignment done clocking at work to you know get wherever you want to go in life so i f- i feel like that would be a great connection with self-care make sure you're taking care of yourself mentally mm. and uh, now a lot of hbcus they're doing um black mental health matters because you know just even like being part of the black race like we go through a lot um just being black like outside of the world so working on your mental health um you will be challenged mentally in college like challenged mentally you're gonna have a lot of hard days especially mm-hmm. if you're gonna like school out of state the homesickness usually is real at some yes. point even if you prefer to be at school you're still going to miss home like that's something that's definitely going to happen um you're just gonna have those days where like you don't want to wake up no more you're gonna have those days where like damn did i choose the right major Mm -hmm. um should i really do this is this program really what i want to do 
how to oh my gosh i have to come up with this this amount of money by this day how am i gonna do that so yeah taking care of your mental definitely matters so yeah. self-care remember to keep that in mind make sure you have them self-care days where you can release or journal but yeah so taking your, uh, care of your mental health and also taking care of your mental health i also want to lead that to personal growth you will grow you will see the most growth in college and i don't even mean like just like material so far, yeah so far. so far and i also don't even mean by like making more money or something like that or material stuff but learning more about yourself and learn and learning the type of person you want to be that's why I, I don't like really telling people like you could go and find yourself i wouldn't say really find yourself but you really start to notice the things that you you, you how like you want yeah and, you're like, okay and how you I'm really want to be in this mm -hmm. i'm interested in that i kind of don't like to go to these type of places yeah. to be around this type so, of energy yeah. mm -hmm. you get to know yourself more and that's how when you get to know yourself more that's how you start to surround yourself with people like you or better people you learn that i want to be this now i want to take this no, no you kind of like, learn that i need this type of people yes. around me i need this type of support like group. real deep personal yeah. growth like shadowing and stuff like all that stuff like you will really learn that in college but you also have to keep that open mind and you also have you, to be able to let go of old habits yeah that's what and i was take gonna say new habits. you mm -hmm. only grow if you're able to allow yourself to grow mm -hmm. if you're continuously holding on to old habits then you're not necessarily going to reap all the benefits of college mm -hmm. because everyone thinks that oh it's really hard to leave college with a job and mm -hmm. yada you got all these accomplishments it's really just like taking that first step to put yourself in an uncomfortable position to see what you can really do yeah and also being okay and also being okay with unlearning something to learn new stuff because mm -hmm. that's gonna happen even coming to an hbcu it's like you have a lot of things that you bring with you from your hometown and then once you get to college and you're around a vast variety of group of people who di who think differently it's like okay i don't necessarily i don't necessarily think that way i don't necessarily believe that anymore i don't necessarily act like that anymore i don't necessarily do that anymore and then when you get home it's a whole new world <laughs> definitely a whole new world like Hmm, the personal growth is real. So as long as you're in a time like you, you'll get it <laughs> once you experience it. Come to college ready to learn and grow. And I think like it'll be a success. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about and have like, an open mind. you know, how long it takes or any of that. Just be willing to finish and you will be. But I don't know, TC, do you have any more advice for them? Yes, I do. I have one more thing to say. How was I going to say it? I want to definitely just say enjoy the experience. The whole experience. The good, the bad, the crying, the crashing, depression. Oh. The, <laughs> <laughs> the good times, the bad times, the good friends, the bad friends, the best professors, the worst professor. College is really an experience, so just enjoy every moment because even just like when things get bad things get good just yeah. like when you have bad days you're gonna have great days y'all just like they say life is what you make it the college you go to that experience is what you make it mm -hmm. so make it an experience it okay if you're going to harvard or if you're going to a little tiny private school with two thousand people what do i say i said my life was you make it so let's make it rock oh i would probably end up by saying like it's definitely okay i guess my final note would be to say that it's definitely okay to be scared and I think it's normal to be scared. If you're scared, that means you're ready, you're alive, you're anticipating something. It means that you genuinely care about what's about to happen mm -hmm. next, and that's okay. So be nervous about what's going to happen. Ex I always say expect the worst and hope for the best. And I think that's like a really good point in going into college. Just expect anything, but always try to do what you can do to stay in control of everything that you have control over. Don't sweat or stress over things that you don't have control yeah, over. Yeah, you can't control. Day, you can't do it is what it. it is. What I say is when I can't control something, I just be like, F it, we ball. 
<laughs> that's you all you can say. That you just gotta turn over and wake up and say, Evan, we ball, okay? We're just gonna try this again tomorrow. <laughs> and that's the slogan of college. It's just like, it's gonna be like in the real, real world. You're gonna have bad days. Yeah. You're gonna have bad times. But, TT, I wanna thank you for having me on your YouTube channel. Woo! And I hope you guys enjoyed having me. And I hope you guys found our college advice for 2023 really helpful. And that you take just a little bit of it going into this upcoming semester. Mm -hmm. And if you're a freshman, well, upcoming freshman, I hope you we I hope we didn't scare y'all too much. No. But I hope you guys are excited for this upcoming semester because I want to say enjoy it. Start off good. But if bad things happen, it's okay. It happens. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Woo! Bye. I'm in my yak. I wanna dance. I'm on that yak. I wanna dance. Come get your.